Hey, what's going on, Sagittarius? Okay, guys, let me get y'all a quick reading. Hang on, let's see. Uh, why do I feel like... Hang on. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I don't know why I always get sidetracked as soon as I start reading. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing really well. You've got an observer, Sag. That's what I feel. I don't know why I keep feeling like there's some kind of... Okay, all of this clearly shifted today when I was moving stuff around. So, let me try and get it back in order super duper quick. See, I'm missing my little Mother Mary. I shall find her shortly. Um, I feel like you have an observer. This is crazy. I don't know why. Uh, okay, so there's something that you're doing that somebody is watching pretty close is what I'm feeling here. That that could definitely be, around, honestly, that could be around your home, at the gym, something like that. It's interesting, though, because I don't know, there's some kind of shift. I keep wanting to say there's some kind of shift that is being made. I don't, okay, let's see what this is about, honestly, because I'm not getting the fullness of the, the message that is coming through. Safe travel. Okay, maybe somebody is getting ready to travel somewhere. Um, this is actually predicting safe travel, so that's actually a good card. You should. You could also be meeting someone maybe while you're traveling. It's interesting because I was feeling a shift. Are you helping people to shift around you or something? It's something like that. It may just be one person because I feel like you have an observer. I said that like it was one person. Okay. You could be traveling to see someone, or maybe someone is about to travel to see you. Oh, let's see what's going on here. Okay, you could. this could be a fire sign. Obviously, we know that you're a fire sign. By the way, I have 41, 27, or 30, if any of those numbers uh, resonate or stand out to you in some way. This is about passion, okay? This could be something very passionate. Timing could be a factor, too. Maybe you've been waiting on something like this to happen. Knowledge. Oh, look at this. So stormy here. Let's go ahead and get some cards and see what this was about, actually, because I'm already feeling like... Let me grab this deck, I think. This could be something where, I see stormy seas here, I'm not going to lie, okay, which makes me think that this is someone that you could have knowledge of, okay, this is someone that you need to become more knowledgeable about or something like that, because what I'm feeling here is there is, there's some kind of stormy seas that appear to be ahead here. It may have something to do with someone who you're going to meet or someone who has come to meet with you. It may end up being something that is... Why do I, this, okay, this is about to get really deep because I feel like you have a really, really passionate connection with someone. So you, you may already have this. This may already be a connection that you're in. Somebody has been trying to gain some kind of knowledge, trying to gain, maybe on you, honestly. Yeah, it could actually be on you. But why do I feel like I'm bringing it to your door in some way? There's something I need to tell you. I'm observing you. This is creating some kind of shift in some way. Maybe in this person's knowledge of who you are or what you what you are. I don't know what I was going to say that. Maybe it is what you are. It has something to do with the impact that you maybe you're having on them. Something something about your energy, something that you appear to be doing is causing someone else to go within to gain more knowledge. I feel like there's some kind of shift that is happening. It may be following some kind of stormy relationship or it may be creating some kind of stormy seas, okay, for this particular situation around a situation. Hmm. Okay, let's see what this is about. Spirit, what is this about for my Sagittarius, please? Also, this could be honestly, you know, the energies can, can flip. So this could also apply to a cross washer. Just take it as it resonates, of course. Sagittarius. Show me Sagittarius energy right now, Spirit. 
Actually, let me look at this observer because this energy is so prominent. So you could be dealing with another Sag or another fire sign. Uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, this is somebody that is definitely in their head about something. This is somebody that's trying to pick up the pace is what I feel here. So you could definitely be dealing with another fire sign here. That's why we have the card of fire. Okay, this is both of you. That's why I was feeling so much passion around this situation. There could have been a lot of time that has lapsed, especially if this is someone here from the past. And it looks like it definitely could be. I feel like someone here has felt like things have almost been at a standstill or not moving fast enough. This is a person that feels like they have to start the wheels maybe in, a, in motion at this time. Maybe it's a new person too. Maybe they're just afraid in some way because I'm telling you something about you or your energy or something that you do appears to be creating some kind of shift. But look what it's also doing. This person is very much so in their head. Look at how they're out here too pleading on this what is that that's like a, a piece of ice or something like that an iceberg okay so this person is out here maybe on an iceberg kind of pleading okay maybe for information for some kind of help here maybe to get things going but they're very um, very much so in their head is what i feel and it's interesting maybe they also have others around them that have been in their head this is the five of swords right so they could we have somebody in this person's ear they're tired of hearing it. They feel like they need to do something. Maybe they've been asking for advice, but I don't know. Five of Swords is not a good card. I feel like something is trying to push this person out of a comfort zone here because somebody here wants to invest. Somebody here wants to actually plant a seed. Okay. Yeah. Somebody here wants to plant a seed. Honestly, Sag, I feel like this is somebody who hasn't let go of you. This is somebody that's been holding on pretty tight to you. But also, <clears throat> I feel like... I don't know that this person is not watching you or doesn't see you daily in some way. And I say that because there's some kind of knowledge that I feel like they have been gaining here. Our spirit is telling me this person's in some kind of stormy seas too. Okay, let's see what that is about. So your situation with them could definitely be that way, but I feel like they may be going through their own upheaval at this time. It's like I need to have some kind of direction. I need to plant uh, somewhere else here. There's, there's something here about what you do or your influence on this person that is creating some kind of shift. And I feel like the shift is within. Somebody here is trying to change or wants to change some kind of situation, some kind of circumstance. It's very difficult for them because this person may be prone to staying in their head quite a bit and possibly even listening to the wrong people. But that could even be their thoughts, okay? Their thoughts that are just kind of running things, okay? And not in a good way is what I feel. Show me Sagittarius, how it relates to this reading spirit. What does this have to do with Sagittarius, please? Sag, six of wands, okay. Judgment in reverse. Seven of cups. Two of Swords. You definitely don't see this coming. Oh, wow. Okay, you don't see this coming. Okay, this could be... A... Now, you're coming up as the King of Wands energy here. So, you're really in your power right now. You might be in some kind of leadership position, okay? You could be influencing people or helping people, even inspiring them in some way. You can be taking a lead um, in your life as well, okay? This shows me that you may be... Um, I don't know if you work in some kind of public position or you could be in, yeah, you could definitely be in a place where you're getting some kind of attention to or accolades or maybe people report to you. I feel like in some way you could be in the public eye here. This is interesting because I don't think, especially if this is something that's trying to be resurrected here, I don't think you're actually doing that. I don't think that that is something that you're focused on. You may feel like you have put something 
to bed here or like like nothing has came remember this is falling on the nine of pentacles right like it's been so slow or something's just been in a, a dormant state a standstill so if this is about a reunion i don't think you're looking at that like the opportunity in fact i see here but you may actually be out here um, considering your options, okay, what you're doing next. I feel like you're very busy, too, for some reason. So maybe you're spending a lot of time. These options could be about business ventures or other things that you are doing. It's almost like I feel like suddenly I have my hands full and look at this. It's like, what? It, look, my hand is in my mouth, right? Like, what do I do next? Um, I'm really in deep thought over this. You know, I need to pick carefully is what I'm seeing here thing is you don't see something that is actually coming you may actually feel like you're at a crossroads here i can look at this as a block as well okay it's been so long i don't even know what is happening or there's been so much that's been done here that i don't know exactly um yeah i've, I've kind of laid it down that's what i feel i've laid it down here and i'm trying to look at what else i can do here but the thing is such i don't feel that something was ever I don't think that something ended. That's not what I'm getting. I have a person up here that's hanging on. And then I have the, the world card here in reverse. So this tells me, even if you are at a distance, you're not really at a distance here. Okay, this is in reverse. So this tells me that you could be very connected to another individual. There could be an age difference here. I have the Knight of Wands and the King of Wands. But you could still feel incredibly connected connected to someone here. Someone is holding on to you for pinnacles. And now I have the world card in reverse, which shows me that something is still active. So this could be same sex. This could be actually my knight of wands here is a female, as you can see. And then we have the king of wands, you know, there could, I, I think I said there could be an age difference and there definitely could. Okay, so what is that? I need to know what's happening in this situation. Then I kept saying somebody could be bringing something to your door. Let me see what's going on with this Knight of Wands. What is happening with the Knight of Wands here? Because I'm going to see what stormy seas are about or this stormy weather is that's coming in. Show me this Knight of Wands. Yeah, they are definitely not happy. They're not happy with what's happening. They're not happy with the lack of movement. They may not be happening, happy with whatever is happening in their own life. We see someone, honestly, that's very bored. We see a bunch of empty cups here. Uh, maybe this person has been very bored in their own life. Maybe they tried to venture out and do other things. Maybe date other people in some way. I don't know. Maybe to get over you, but look. So maybe they felt like they were waiting. You could have felt like you were waiting too. Maybe the whole thing was just in some kind of limbo here. Somebody here is now thinking about balance in the scales. I think they're aggravated that things have not balanced out by this time because they really thought you guys would be given to each other by now, okay? There would be some kind of equal reciprocity, okay? And I don't think that that has actually happened here. No, it definitely has not happened here, okay? There's been no love offers. Um, there is no exchange of love going back between the two of you. Wow. But there should be. Somebody feels like they're supposed to be with you. This is what's going on with them, Saj. Okay. This is what's going on with this. Somebody feels incredibly connected to you. There could be difference in your skin tone and ethnicity, something like that. But it hasn't happened. Which is crazy because I feel like you both seem to be holding on to one another here. You haven't ended a cycle, okay? You don't see it coming is what I feel. You don't even know that it will ever come according to this card here. But this person is also holding on to you. I feel like you might be out here doing things, making some, honestly, some boss moves, if you will, in your own life here. Just uh, maybe going out, creating things that are new. Like I said, you could definitely be inspiring. I feel like you're inspiring this person in some way. But this person thinks that they're supposed to be with you. There is still a lot of love in this connection. I guess maybe it has not been nurtured or... Well, it hasn't been nurtured. Because it looks like it's been sitting dormant for a while. Or things have not came to be... Yeah, I don't think things have been coming into fruition because I, I don't know why I'm feeling like maybe there's been little to no communication. 
Okay, I just heard it takes two. So maybe, maybe this is coming from both of you guys. You have definitely reached some kind of impasse here. That's why the timing card came out. So if somebody wants to travel and see you or they want to, that, I think there's some travel that's involved and I think that it has to do with coming together or talking about a situation here that has been dormant. This is someone that wants to get on the same page with you in some way. They want to balance the skills. I feel like I need to tell you um, about what I'm going through. I need to tell you hmm, maybe about what I was going through. Perhaps this had something to do in your situation. Why things were so stormy before. Why all of this stuff happened. I have the numbers 21 and 34 as well. Yeah, because you need to know this. You deserve to know this. You shouldn't have been breadcrumbs, okay, if that's what was happening here, okay? I should have given you more is what I'm feeling. This is why I couldn't give you this cup of love, even though I did love you. I do love you. It's so funny. You're so un unsuspecting here in some ways. Okay, I don't see it. It's like I even see her her hand is actually crossing her heart here. I think she has these two crows here saying, Hey, what's going <laughs> Hey, look, you know what I'm saying? Something's trying to come in here, but it's almost like you're so busy or something in your own life and whatever these options are over here that you're trying to work through. I think you have your hands busy. I definitely think there's some kind of boss mode going on. So I feel like you're very busy with whatever you have going on right now. You don't even see the lion behind you. That's a lion behind you, actually. And interestingly enough, we, we would say this is the card of Leo. So this could be about a Leo, too. But there's tons of other cards here. I definitely see Sag. I see... Um, what else do I see? I don't really have a lot of major arcanas at all. Do I see all the fixed signs? The Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, uh, Leo. Hmm... All right, what else, Spirit? So what is the next move then? What's going to happen next here? This person is not happy in their life with their options here. Is what I feel here. There's no passion. Okay, somebody here could have lost something, lost a job, lost some kind of money as well. I feel like they're trying to, maybe they're trying to leave somebody too. This could have been a marriage. I'm not really getting that though right now, but... It could be, I think somebody here is trying to recover. Do you, did you guys work together or did you have a business together? Because that's coming through very strongly for me. Like someone feels like it's it's almost like better. I don't know if it's better if you team up or something like that. But the thing is, they feel so blocked out of their life. This is definitely somebody who stays in their head quite a bit. They don't see... I think they don't see how to make this work. And it, look, it's something that I think they've been focused on for a while here. Maybe how do I get back in Sage's life? Or how do I pitch this? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, how do I pitch this? What am I pitching? How do I get Sage to let me back in? Or how do I get Sage to listen to me? And let them know that I want to invest. This is a person that has been, they've been assessing quite a bit. But they want something here to grow. And it's interesting because you see the roots down here. Maybe they have been doing some kind of manifesting while they have waited. Trying to get something to take off. They may have been trying because I see you're very creative here. You could be over here running businesses or having, you know, things take off in your life. Maybe they've been trying to do that as well. I don't know if they have been so lucky in this. You could also be dealing with a, I guess you could be dealing with the Taurus energy as well. Okay. Yeah, this is a person that, okay, you might be a very lucky person, Saj, or maybe they feel that about you. Like, whatever you do seems to succeed in some way. Because I'm telling you, there's some focus here about someone feeling like, I, I'm not getting ahead the way that I should. I feel like someone wants to team up with you. But interestingly enough, I feel that they, this could definitely be a partnership. But the way they're holding hands, I feel like this is love in this situation, okay? 
you are creating a shift it seems to me with someone else someone wants to change someone wants to change something in their life they may want to learn from you as well they feel like what you touch seems to grow okay and they want to invest in that they want to learn about that maybe they want to learn about what you do even for a living how does that happen for you how do i get there from here I do feel that you have someone here that maybe, honestly, they could be a little bit consumed. It could just be with, you know, I, no, I think it's material gain. But obviously, that's not all it's about. I see the Two of Cups energy here. So, yeah. So, I don't see, I don't know, this person could also be having car problems or some kind of car issue as well. Look at that. Or maybe they feel like they can't get to you. We had the world in reverse, and now we're seeing the chariot in reverse. Maybe they feel like they can't get to you either. So you may very well be at a distance. Like, I can't travel to Sag. So maybe you're, you're far away. Let me see the Seven of Swords, because I really feel like somebody is... Oh, wow, yeah. Hmm, I got to figure out a different way. I got to figure out a different way here to get them that message. I feel like something's about to be exposed or something's going to be highlighted. Maybe that's what they're concerned about. Or maybe that's what they want to strategically do. Get you the information, present you with the information here. Something happened in this situation because I don't feel like this is good. This is where the storm is coming from. I need to be strategic in how I'm bringing this information out. Something is definitely coming out. But there's something else about why can't they travel towards Sagittarius? Why is there a chariot in reverse here, spirit? Fool in reverse. Five of Wands. Because they've been a fool about something. They could have made an impulsive move with some... I don't know. I think they feel like there might be... They want to come out of conflict. Okay. You have confidence. That's why. They made some kind of foolish mistake is what I feel like here. Something that didn't involve a lot of forethought is what I'm feeling here. They could have jumped into something else or got themselves into something. Maybe you saw them or you know that they behaved foolishly here in the past. They could have created some kind of drama in your life or put you in some kind of competition here. So maybe they feel like you're just not going to let them in. Maybe that is part of it. Because this could also be you having someone blocked out, right? I don't want to see it. I don't want to hear it. I don't see any way that this can be resurrected, right? So this is why they're struggling. They don't like the way their life is going. They're trying to make these shifts, it looks like. They're trying to gain knowledge. They could be watching you in some way. I feel like you are creating a shift in someone, whether you know it or not, or whether you want them in your life or not, okay? This is a person that has very deep feelings for you. I think they admire you, but I also feel like they respect you. Oh, I heard your grind. Okay, maybe they respect your grind in some way, okay? They've watched you maybe, you know, do some things with your life that perhaps they're wanting for, for themselves. But the thing is, they do want balance in your connection. This person does have a lot of emotions for you, but for some reason, I don't think they were showing that in the beginning. And now they want to show that they actually want to invest something. They want something to grow. This this uh, These hands are actually holding um, it looks like soil. Yeah, they're holding soil and roots. Okay, so somebody wants to plant something, I feel like, with you. But the problem is they can't. So why can't they get to you? This is the part that's throwing me. Unless you're at like a long distance. Unless you're like far away from this person. Or maybe they don't have a car. Or maybe they don't know where you're at. Uh-uh. Let me see what's going on. I'm going to pull some... Let me pull some tea cards so I can see what's happening with this person. Give me more spirit on this situation, please. For my Sagittarius. 
wasting time, stuck, no changes, very limited. That's exactly how they feel. I see them in the Four of Cups. They're just bored to death. They feel like things have not changed, like they've just been stuck forever. I think you have too, because I see that you're not even looking at this. You're not even seeing this coming. You're kind of doing your own thing here. But I, listen, somebody... Oh my God. Okay. This person could have started drama in your life. That's why. That's what the Five of Wands energy is about. We also saw the Five of Swords earlier. Somebody could have definitely started some kind of drama in your life. They know that they have, maybe they brought stuff into your life that you didn't want. Okay. I feel like this person is really being haunted by the memories of you and by whatever happened here. This is side effects. So whatever they brought into your life potentially is haunting them now and they feel like they would have to kiss a lot of ass here because they've been over here wasting time perhaps not creating some kind of change in this scenario with you they may feel yeah but they're watching i told you they're keeping a close eye on you they're definitely watching you and whatever they're seeing here i heard respect your grind so maybe they're watching you at work i don't know but I feel like it's causing them to change. Like you you have them now wanting to change. Change something they do or change the way they do things. Wow, look at this. Always partying. So somebody here could have always been partying. A groupie. With some groupies here. Look at this. That's what they did. That's that's the mistake. Somebody could have married for money. Somebody could have married one of these groupies or something like that. Or maybe they were a groupie to someone who was wealthy and actually married for money. And now this person, I feel like, has lost some kind of money too. King of Pentacles in reverse. Maybe they're getting divorced or something like that. Because they're always partying or hanging out with some kind of groupies. Look at that. Yeah. And now they want you back. So this is why they don't feel like they can come right towards you. I said they did something foolish, right? That's what they did. This person made an impulsive decision. Maybe it came as a result of partying as well. Oh my God, Saj. I don't know what to do with this situation, to be honest with you. So good, they respect your grind. Good that they have feelings or feel like you guys could be good partners. But it says wants you back as well. So this is somebody that definitely there's some kind of emotions. But I'm just looking at their history here. The kind of decisions that they made. Marrying for money. First of all, that's an ethical issue as far as I'm concerned. Okay, you, You're choosing just to get into it for... I don't know. That's just me though. I know everybody probably looks at that differently. But... I'm going to get into this situation as a, it's just a, it's transactional, right? That's not love. I don't, I don't think I respect that, but you, you do you. So I'm going to ask the question, give me spirit. Let me see if I have. Okay, I was trying to find, I'm sure they're here somewhere. I'm just I'm still hacking some things. So, Spirit, tell me what this person wants from Sagittarius, please. High Priestess, your wisdom, your patience. I'm, there's something here about your accomplishments, okay? This person keeps talking about your grind. This is telling me about your accomplishments, things that you are actually getting in your life. Um, you could be being celebrated. We saw you in the Six of Wands energy as well. It's almost like I need to learn from you. Or I need that energy or I need to be back in your life. This could have been a friend, Sag. Then maybe you guys you developed feelings or maybe you had to cut them out of your life. Maybe it was a friend with benefits or something. And now they don't have... I almost feel like they don't have the privilege of having you or your energy in their life in some way. There it is again. They want to invest. I'm telling you. They want to invest. They want to be able to persevere through whatever kind of problems that you guys have here. Wise counselor, again, I'm telling you. 
They want you to help them or teach them in some way. This person might be in a state of learning because they are shifting. They're trying to change here. Wise Counselor can tell me. Um, so, it's almost like someone needs you to guide them. Okay, I don't know how else to say it. I don't know what role you've played in their, their life in the past, but I almost feel like I, I just have to sit back and watch you. I don't have the privilege of being in your energy at this particular point because of some stupid things that I've done here. This person could have been gone for a minute because I see marrying for money here. I also see that they may have lost some money in some way here. Since they had groupies, maybe somebody else was pulled into the situation. See, I don't like this at all because I feel like there's a lot of bad decisions in this. For a fire. Yeah. Honestly, they could want to move in with you as well. You, I got some red flags here, okay? Definitely some red flags. You could be dealing with an air sign as well. So, you could be dealing with a king of air here. So, they're going to come in very direct is what I feel. Or they're trying to come towards you. They want to come towards you in a very direct manner. They could be in a position of power. They could be respected, okay? They could be an authority figure, anything like that they could want to live together all right or i mean it's the four of one four of fire here that's the twin flame card as well okay the 11 11 card it could be anything like that but i'm feeling like this person is wanting to and, and wise counselor is number five which of course is the higher font as well so this could be about higher commitment investing in some kind of higher commitment as well but I feel like they want to learn from you in some way. They know that you're very intuitive. There's something here about you being very, having a lot of wisdom as well. They're, I feel like whatever, whatever route, let me just say it that way, that they've been on has brought them to this place of just feeling empty. Okay, I'm just empty. This I'm so bored. This is my life. You know, how did I kind of get here from there? So I don't know, Sag, it makes me wonder, maybe they didn't see you before, or maybe you dropped them, I don't know, because it says wants you back, okay? Maybe they feel like you turned your back on them and went somewhere as well with this world card coming out twice. And they see you accomplishing things on your own, doing things on your own. Remember I said you're respected here, so they, maybe they see you're not one of these groupies, okay? Maybe they thought you were in the past crazy, oh my God, okay? They could have thought that you were just another one in the past, and now they see everything very differently. You're not. You're out here doing for yourself. You're accomplishing things on your own and doing quite well is what I feel. So, basically, they're bored of the groupies is kind of what I'm seeing. And the four of ours trying to come out yet again, which is holding on to you. Again, balance. You're just getting... So, these cards are just kind of... Yeah, they're just reoccurring, okay, which is driving the message. You definitely have someone here that is recognizing you and some kind of talent that you have and wanting to collaborate with you. This could have been someone who was heavily stuck in their ego before, Okay. Um, and in some kind of illusion here, they didn't see you for who you were. I think they, this person could have been a player. They did come out as the knight, and now we see groupies around them. I'm telling you, they weren't ready to settle down, and I feel like it took them into a, a pretty bad decision for some reason for marrying for money here. So they know that they've been a fool in a situation. They could be trying to get out of that now, or maybe they're already out of it. I have a, ping, a king of pentacles here in reverse. Okay, which is also somebody who goes after money and how people see them and what they can get. Okay, but it could also be a divorced individual as well. This is somebody who could work for the law here. We do have the law coming up again. They could be an attorney. They could be a cop. Okay, but the, again, somebody trying to bring balance into the situation. They know that they owe you something is what I feel, Saj. They know that something has to be remedied here. And I think that that is what someone wants here. They want to be more dependable, I feel like, than they were in the past. And maybe they want to talk to you, too, about what they've been caught up in. Because this is a card about ego. That's about material dependency as well, okay? Yeah, maybe they want to talk to you about this illusion here. Okay, this person does have love for you. I don't... I, I have no idea... 
what all of this is here. Maybe somebody needed to get it out of their system before they settled down or something. And knowledge has taught them different. I do feel like their life has been a bit stormy. Um, but most importantly, I just feel like they're just tired of that. They're tired of whatever all of this has been. They're tired of the lifestyle that they've been living. You know what? This Eight of Swords could have to do with this marrying for money as well. They feel like they've gotten themselves caught up in some kind of trap. And I feel like they're trying to get out of that in some way. Maybe that's why they need some kind of uh, wise counselor here as well. Yeah, this is this is a crazy story, Sag. I don't know what you're gonna do. <laughs> I don't know what you're gonna do with it, but I do feel like you're about to be faced with it, okay? So let me know if it resonates. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.